Hey everyone, I am back with the final reveal of the 32 Ford Salt Flats slash Rat Rod Racer. And it is all finished and done and looking good. Um, I've got it sitting on my uh, little uh, diorama that I made. Um, and I will probably uh, be making another little uh, Salt Flats diorama to sit this thing on. Um, but... I need to go to the store and pick up the parts or the uh, supplies for that, so that'll be a later project um, whenever that comes. But anyway, this thing is all done, so let me show you guys um, how it turned out. I think um, for the most part it came out exactly how I was thinking it would. Um, nice and rusty and dusty and crusty. So um, I'm just going to flip this thing around here. So there's kind of a front view of it. Um, got the headlights in and got those kind of dusted. Um, as I got this thing put together, I gave the whole entire car a complete um, kind of spray of dust and added in a little bit more wash and uh, weathering here and there, uh, wherever I felt that it needed. So, there it is straight on. Got the... Uh, it looks a lot more dusty in the video than it is in real life, but the front windshield... Um, is dusted with a couple of decals there. Then here's the uh, other side of the model. Looks pretty good. Um, I did get the engine uh, all wired. Um, it's got the uh, uh, fuel lines running to the carburetors. Um, we've got the braided uh, hoses for the radiator, upper and lower hoses. Then we have the uh, distributor with the distributor wires I'm um, running into the head and it's got little um, uh, wire looms there. And then if we keep spinning, you can see on the back, there's the back. And I've got tail lights that I put on there. Um, and then that's pretty much all I did as far as any additions to what you guys last seen um, before this thing finally went together. So I'm going to show you guys a little close-up of the interior and I'll show you a little close-up of the motor as well. Okay so you can see there's my distributor lines um, with the wire looms and then there is the fuel lines. Uh, they're braided lines and they're coming off um, of the two distributors there and then the running back to the fuel block um, that I put on the firewall and then you can see right here, uh, there is the upper um, braided radiator hose. Uh, and you can't really see the lower one, but it's it's down in there as well. Um, so I think that turned out pretty good. Um, it didn't do a you know extreme detail on this one, but enough to dress it up a little bit. And then if you guys can see, uh, there is. Um, the interior inside of the car. So I think that looks good. And then there is the underside of the motor. Uh, just, you know, dusty and dirty. And the rear end is right there. So yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. She turned out really good. And um, I'm happy with it. And I'll get me a display case and get this thing put in there. And add it to the collection. So hopefully you guys liked it. This was kind of a fun one for me. Um, I've not done a 32 uh, like this before, a five window coupe, so it was a new one for me. And I really enjoy it. So anyway, uh, I will uh, keep you guys posted on what's gonna be coming next on the bench. And stay tuned for more. And like I always say, eat, sleep, styrene. I'll talk to you guys later.